Long-term care is finally seeing a light at the end of the tunnel and rebounding after a year suffering more than 170,000 COVID deaths. And providers and experts debate legality of vaccine mandates. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider attending our virtual March on Washington, April 7th. Registration is free and can be completed on our website at NACACNA.org. Despite a year that saw more than 171,000 nursing home residents and caregivers die from COVID-19, providers are now celebrating their latest victory in the battle against the virus. The sector has enjoyed an 82% decline in weekly coronavirus cases among nursing home residents since peaking in mid-December, when nearly 33,300 cases were reported the week of December 20th. A new low of about 6,000 weekly new cases was reported during the week of February 7th. Deaths have also declined only about 63% since then. Many state that it is due to the vaccines working and the decisions to prioritize residents and staff for vaccines were the right decisions. It appears states have hit the March 1 target set in challenging governors to complete all LTC facility vaccinations. Federal data shows that about 4.6 million first doses and 2.5 million second doses have been given thus far to residents and staff in long-term care facilities. There are approximately 5 million residents living in nursing homes and assisted living and 1.5 million people working in nursing homes. This progress has caused providers to encourage CMS and the CDC to allow visitation and let activities reoccur. Ethical and legal debates regarding vaccine mandates continue to swirl around the long-term care industry, even as some operators have already decided to require their workers to receive the inoculations. At the center of the debate is the fact that current vaccines are all still under emergency use authorization. While some experts don't believe providers would face legal troubles for mandating the vaccines under the current EUA, others have suggested that employers must wait until full federal approval is granted to legally compel their use, a recent New York Times report detailed. Full Food and Drug Administration approval for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines could come by next month, and the expectation is that local and state governments will mandate healthcare workers to be vaccinated once that happens, according to Lawrence Gostin, a law professor at Georgetown University. Quote, they'd have the right to do that, he told the news organization. He added that ethically, quote, it's entirely justified. People have the right to take that chances with their own health, but they absolutely do not have the right to endanger others. Operators Atria Senior Living and Juniper Communities are among those that have already decided to mandate vaccinations among staff, despite the vaccines still being under EUAs. Quote, we felt it was the best way to protect people, not just our residents, but our team members and their families, Juniper CEO Lynn Katzman said. She added that 30 of its about 1,300 workers have, quote, self-terminated because of the requirement. Last week, American Healthcare Association and Leading Age jointly set a goal of 75% for worker COVID va vaccinations, which are currently under 50% by June 30th. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.